Next, I will be the moderator. I'm Jiang Kai. I'm a researcher and I'm all doing the uh, evolutions. And I think uh, Dr. Xiao mentioned the um, co-specifications of Weibo's and also SciCat. Next, I would like to ask Zhang Senan to actually look at stack beetles. It's also so. Uh, Zhang Shenan is a lecturer at Anhui Agricultural University, where she studies the biogeography of stack beetles and the factors that limit species, niches, and ranges. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Zhang to give us a presentation of 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Zhang Kai, for the introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Shenan. I just graduated from Tokyo University. I'm currently a lecturer at Anhui Agricultural University. I'm doing field research. I'm very honored to be able to participate in this symposium. I will talk about the strongly exclusive distribution of punitive characters displacement in two flying stack beetles. We know that the formation and the speciation and spatial boundaries is one of the important scientific areas. In our research, our main goal is to understand the conditions under which this reinforces the spe uh, species boundaries. And these close related species, uh, the competition of close uh, related species may lead to the divergence of characters. Um, and with this uh, different divergence, then they may uh, need to see some like uh, character displacement. But exactly what is a uh, character di uh, displacement? Let's have a look at the right hand side. On the right hand side, you can see the species one and species two in different region A and C. Uh, species one and species two, their characteristics are quite similar. However, once character one, uh, uh, species one and species two are in the overlapping area, that is if they live in the area, the same area that is in the area B, then it seems that the uh, the character is significantly increased, whereas the other one is decreased significantly. That means that the character traits of these different uh, species become more and more significant and different. This would, is what we call a character displacement. And this shows that you know, a way to see uh, the, if uh, these are actually uh, the close related different from where they are symmetric, then they are epilemic. For our research, we actually look at two Japanese uh, stack uh, beetle as the subject. One is Platycerus takaku y, the other is uh, Pecosiris veridocuripus. This is uh, um, Takaku Y is actually a very small, it's only one millimeter. And the nymphs that will live in some rotten uh, wood and log, and once it's adult, it would actually uh, eat on the honey and also pollinate. And this is where the Takaku Y is at, uh, as shown in purple. This is where they're distributed. These are the area. Whereas in P variety cuprus, this is where it's distributed. These two species have a common um, characteristics. That is, they are all very low dispersal stack beetle, and they like to live in very similar uh, environments. Uh, they like to live in uh, cool temperature, the tukus broadleaf forest, and they're all end endemic to Japan. And based on relevant research in the past, it shows that the two species contact in a very narrow area around the border of Fukai and Shikai prefectures, as shown in this area in red in the map. Based on uh, the accidental sampling that we found in the past, we found that these two species, when they are in uh, uh, dispersed in different area, that is in allopatric area, their characters are very similar. However, in contact area, we found that the uh, P Takaku Y, that is in purple, the body length seems to be increased quite significantly, whereas P variety the cuprus, the BL is uh, actually uh, shrinked uh, significantly. So we want to understand more the situation in the contact area. So this is where our research is about. We want to better understand the goal of speciation process and local adaptation. We want to identify detailed species distribution. 
at the, at the same time, we want to review the gene flow within these two different species, and we want to evaluate the body length, that is BL, to determine whether these character displacements has occurred in these uh, closed related species. So regarding the allopatric uh, area for the purple, uh, the Takaku Y, we collected 15 different, uh, we collected from 15 different sites, whereas for P variety cuprus, we collected from 11 different sites, as uh, shown on the triangle area in the map. In the contact area, we uh, in total collected 20, uh, from 28 different sites. So for every two different sites, uh, the uh, distance is about two kilometers. For the two species in the contact area and the identification of the species, it was basically based on the male and the phallic morphology and the nuclear ITS phylogeny. We've done uh, the uh, uh, analysis on the ITS and microchronical COI gene. And this is uh, what uh, some of the uh, samplings, uh, just to show you the sample size. And in terms of the external morphology, morphology, we mainly calculate and uh, the body length of these two different species. And also, we also observed the endophilic morphology of these two differences, different species. So these are some of the sample sizes we used in this research. Next, just want to share with you the results for the contact area, the identifications of the species. Well, first is the based on the endophilic morphology. Uh, that's first had the have a look at the tak, uh, P Takaku Y. Uh, picture A and B are actually from the uh, are actually the epiphalic morphology at a epipheric area, but for the D E F, they are actually the uh, morphopheric morphology of the contact uh, area. We find that. Uh, the, there is no significant differences between uh, these two types. There is no difference, but for the P variety cuprus, uh, the results is actually the same, which means that we didn't observe any major differences in epidemic morphology between the contact area and epipatric regions in each uh, in all the uh, two species. And there is no intermediate epileptic type between the two species, even in the contact area. And then we look at the ITS. This is uh, the results on the phylogeny. Uh, journey. The orange ones is actually the P Takaku Y in contact area. The green ones is actually uh, in the uh, contact area for P variety cuprus. We found that in contact area, the uh, both the Kataka Y and also the writer Kerprus, uh, uh, it shows that once observed to the etophilic and morphology and IT as psilology, we confirm that the uh, species identification are completely uh, consistent and the same. So we know uh, we believe that in the contact area from site one to I, uh, site 11, it is uh, for P Takaku Y. For sites 13 to 28 is P variety cuprus. Only in sites 12 where we found both species. We then look at the CO1 gene uh, uh, phylogeny uh, as shown in this uh, map. So you can see that uh, there's actually two branches for Katuka Y, 1-1 and 1-2, and for the uh, P variety cuprus there's actually in branch two. And we found that in uh, site nine, there are two samples as actually uh, from Kutaka Hawaii, but the C1 results actually, let's have a look. They are actually in the uh, branch of uh, variety Cyprus. We also find that two samples that is collected from site 17, the uh, variety cyprus, the C1 gene, CO1 gene, uh, shown that 
they are actually in the one dash B of the uh, Takaku wise. So this means that there is some uh, gene, uh, there's some gene integration for these two different species. We also can uh, look at the uh, body length of these two different species. We compare the uh, male and female uh, sp uh, species and samples. We find that in epipatric regions, the body length of these two different uh, species are very similar. However, in contact area, we found that the uh, body length of P. Uh, varieta cuprus uh, is actually shortened significantly, whereas in the contact area, the P. takakaku Y actually increased the body length significantly. These differences in body length and also uh, is actually consistent with the uh, character displacement. Then we try to think that with these differences of body length, is it affected by the geographic variables, environmental uh, variables? So we, want, we actually made a model and it shows that body length was no significant effect on geographical variables environment for both species and sexes. With all the results, we first know that uh, from the 28 sites in the contact area, we only find uh, both species on, at site 12 where they coexist. And, but even though they are, so this means that even though they are flying species, they, they do not coexist. So that indicates that they are strongly exclusive distribution. And even though we actually collect nymphs and not adults. So I think in the later uh, research, we need a broader sample to confirm this conclusion. And through the comparison of body length variation, we determined that the body length variation is consistent with character displacement. And also it has no, uh, the geographic variables environment has no uh, significant effect on body length. So we believe that body length would be affected by uh, the interaction between these two species. And for these two uh, species, we also do the uh, we we uh, we uh, do the reproductive character, and we found that uh, these two uh, can actually produce and actually uh, generate an F one uh, hybridization. And if once with the mitochondrial gene ingression, and it's also observed, so we observed that the reproductive character displacement is also possible. So the uh, character displacement is mainly reproductive character displacement. Also, based on the CO1 uh, information uh, showed that for uh, the integration of P. vitacro uh, hycros, it's actually coming from the 1-B to 1-1. And then with the one dash A uh, uh, moving to the contact area, the uh, integration of uh, gene uh, Takaku wise is probably because the Barita cuprus actually integrates to the, uh, uh, the other way around. So based on uh, the results, we uh, based on the uh, morphological and genetic analysis of these two related flying stag beetles, we find that they first of all the they established uh, they exhibited strongly exclusive distribution, and we evaluated that the reproductive character uh, displacements may be uh, may exist, and we also uh, come from uh, we also. Uh, concluded that distribution formation and the integration process was uh, was there. So if you're interested, uh, I think we I have limited time, so I only give you a rough idea, but you can have a look at this uh, essay and, uh, and the journal to actually know more details. You can also contact me if there is further questions. I would once again also like to uh, thank the symposium for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> 各位专家或听众有什么问题的吗？或者是可以在聊天。Thank you to Professor uh, Dr. Zhang. Do we have any uh, questions from audience members? And you can also use the Q and A section. I have a small question, though. 
you keep talking about uh, the pronunciation of the uh, stag beetle. You said "chiao jia." Is the word pronounced "chiao" or "chiao"? It should be "chiao." Okay, okay. Probably it's because that uh, I uh, pronounce um, more emphatically. <laughs> oh, my question is. This phenomenon you observe is a typical reinforcement before reproduction because the two species may be mixed or hybrid. But if the species cannot carry on, it will be redundant. That's why natural selection will allow the two species at the same region to gradually um, to evolve into two extreme species so that's a very typical reinforcement but you look at my question is for body length and male genitalia so there is a difference in body length but not male genitalia is that correct perhaps the expression of body length is it because the the body length would affect the reproduction behavior or is there any selection to the reproduction process or the mating process? In terms of genomes, we did select body length only, but we observe, it's because we observe the no difference in male genitalia. We, it's because it's very difficult to quantify the a size or the indicators, uh, parameters of the male genitalia, because it's um, everything is dipped in solution and it cannot uh, accurately uh, measure the length or size of the male genitalia. And body length, and on the other hand, is easier to measure. That's why we focus on this indicator. And for other research, in other research of stack beetle, uh, I can show you from this graph. There are actually eight different uh, genotypes uh, with uh, morphology. And we learned that body length is one of the most important indicator. That's why we chose it in our research. For stack beetle, then why didn't you examine male genitalia? So for male genitalia, that is a key indicator in terms of identifying or recognizing species, because for any species that uh, for to differentiate between different species, we always first look at gen male genitalia. But what about the length of male genitalia may be relevant to body length, so it may be uh, relevant to evolution as well. Yeah, because with longer body length, there will be longer male genitalia as well. So it will be a more extreme in the differentiation. Indeed, yes, it uh, just because that uh, it's very difficult to measure the size or the um, size of male genitalia. That's why we didn't measure. Thank you. Okay, we do have uh, Dr. Xiao raising his hand. Yes, I do have a question. Please be brief because time is up. And we also have a question in the Q&A section and also in the chat. So please, uh, Dr. Zhang, answer. My question is technical. How to uh, extract the internal um, in, internal uh, of side of the uh, male genitalia without it retracting back into the body. Yes, we use, it, it takes a, a technique and it takes experience. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zhang for, his, for her brilliant presentation. So let's 